Hello guys, how are you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 1023 of One Piece today. And it looks like a Chopper has just completed the antibody to fight against this virus. So, of course, um, this is good news. But at the same time, now he's testing it um, on himself. So, it was um, a bit scary to see how things were happening, how his body was... Uh, pretty much uh, like breaking apart and it was like uh, it was uh, burning inside. But I hope that um, this is uh, like part of the process. I hope it's just the uh, antibody uh, doing uh, its, its thing and pretty much getting rid um, of, um, of this uh, virus. But yeah, it would be great if, um, if this uh, really worked uh, and that uh, Chopper um, was able to give it to Yogoro as soon as possible. Because um, as we saw during this previous episode, Yogoro is um, pretty much uh, at his limit. So he, he doesn't have uh, much time left. He really needs this uh, antibody um, in order um, uh, to survive. And of course I want it to happen, so I'm just a bit um, nervous about everything because it's uh, like I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. I have big hopes that uh, it will because, I, I mean, I believe uh, in Chopper. But yeah, just uh, really can't wait to see what exactly is um, going to happen. So, hope you guys are ready and let's start the episode. It was really impressive to see Yoguru. Like fighting through all of this. Always being strong enough to... Not too sure how to put it, but like... His spirit was always intact. It was like always himself and when he was a bit out of control thanks to the other guys he went back to himself so he's trying really hard yeah this was already going a bit wild this really helped him Your fleet's still not over. It's really scary to see. It was Oh it's It's going away The eyes It worked Back to being cute <laughs> Man, that's really nice. I was not expecting it to be this soon. Like, the, like the result. I was already waiting for the title. Wait. Are they going to use that cannon to... I saw like a valve, so is it supposed to... Can they like throw it like water? And soak all of these people. Not too sure if it works that way or if they need to ingest it. So I, I I don't know why they were focusing on the cannon, but I guess I'll discover at some point. Ooh, also Marco. I remember Perospero being uh, behind him. 
He needs to be careful. Damn! And I really love his power. Oh, King. Fighting against two is really hard. But now that Chopper completed that... They can start... Thinking about... Fighting the right enemies. Yogoro just did a lot here. It's really amazing how strong he still is. Hmm. And I really loved uh, how he was using Ryo, how he looked like. We can't do it, right? I guess in this case, it would be good for him to hesitate. So Chopper can have more time to give him the antibody. Just imagine being in this situation, having to be the one doing it. Really painful. I believe he's already trying to give it to all of them, but His tension. Doesn't care about any of you. Only cares about himself. And these guys should just swap sides at this point. Should be clear to them how they're valued by Queen.
At the same time, they must be really scared, so... Even go against him. This guy. Hmm. I mean, that's good to them. That they won't get a smile for it. Well, it's decreasing, though. This is so messed up. Yep. Is that supposed to mean? This guy trying to manipulate them. Yeah, this guy definitely doesn't know Chopper. Well, maybe you. He's putting everyone in the same bag. I'm still thinking a lot about that cannon. I feel like it's going to be used in this situation somehow. Or else, why would they show it at all? It was already great to see it working on Chopper. I just hope it works on everyone else. Oh, there it is! Is he going for the yogurt first? Oh, he stopped it! Damn! That was clutch! Oh, so he does it like that. <laughs> you know, let's hope it's effective on him as well. Also wonder if there's going to be like some side effect. I mean, it wouldn't be surprising. Especially how, considering how he had to do it really fast. Damn, that's so nice, it worked. Oh, is he back to being... small? And in the middle of all of these, they keep calling him Raccoon. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the moment when he's... actually triggered by it. A 
but I also like it. The fact that he's not paying attention to that shows how focused he is on treating them. There's a cannon! It's like a cannonball full of the antibody, or... Like, not really a cannonball, but... As if it was. <laughs> he already gave it a name. <laughs> Chopper Forge? Nebulizer? Oh! He made it like... Oh, they can inhale that mist and it works! That's really good! Really smart! A virus that I made. <laughs> It just don't inhale it all. Damn, that's so nice. They're all going back to normal. I just want to see Queen's face. Best doctor in the world. <laughs> Talking about it. Well, he pretty much replaced it with a better masterpiece. So happy about this. Finally, one less thing to be worried about. This guy isn't even... Being pissed at his own subordinates being healed. A piece of garbage. Oh, damn. Wait. Are those his subordinates? They're actually... They are actually swapping sides, going against Queen? Damn, I was hoping for this before. Damn, that's really cool. I love how this is backfiring on Queen. And Chopper was the MVP right here. Is it going to happen now? It's going to happen now, right? It's going to be triggers. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> His face. <laughs> it's going to say it, right? It really felt like it. Oh, Marco. Oh, yeah, it's going to happen. Look at his face. It's coming. <laughs> oh, he's going to show how he's a Reiner. That's a good way to show it, I guess. 
Holy. <laughs> okay, that was perfect. <laughs> I was really waiting for this to, to be a thing at some point. That was really well done. And we're going to show a bit of this as well. It's really big. Not like he wasn't before, but it's always impressive to see the difference in size. Oh, Kinemon! Are they going to reveal who treated them? I was really confused before. Is that? I saw um, the thing Yamato wears, like Odin, but is it her? Hey, who is that? It's at least nice to see them recovered. It's like Odin himself is coming. What is this supposed to mean? Wait. Wait, what? Wait, what is going on? Odin is actually... Okay, I'm really skeptical about this. Is Odin really alive? Did he survive somehow? Or is he, Is it like someone pretending to be him? I'm not gonna lie, the first thing that crossed my mind right now was um, the old lady from before. We know that uh, she was able to pretty much um, have the appearance of um, whoever she wanted. And uh, someone could have that power right now. Actually, it's Bond Clay who's supposed to have that power, right? I'm, I'm not exactly sure. This was something I was thinking about some time ago. Maybe it's not even um, supposed to be the same power. Maybe just similar in a way. Because... Um, I'm not too sure, but... It could actually be Bond Clay's power right now. Because uh, he was able to transform um, into Magellan completely right, he had his full appearance, so I just kept remembering how he was changing his face most of all, but he can also do it with the rest of the body, I think, so, again, I don't know, I guess this completely, like, I'm not sure how to put it, I'm just like so surprised by this, I, again, I'm trying to think of, like, what could uh, be happening right now? I mean, I find it really hard for Odin to be alive. We all saw what happened. How he got uh, shot um, in the head and uh, fell in that, um, like, burning oil or something. I'm not too sure how to put it. Again, like, how could he have, sur how could he have survived that? I mean, and this is not even um, older right now. I and he was even telling them that they, they look... Um, like older and stuff, like they they grew up and he didn't. So, like, I really don't know. I mean, of course, if he's not, if it's really him and he's not old right now, 
That means it had to be Toki doing her thing, sending him to the future as well. But I don't think that that happened, or maybe... Maybe they, like... Was it really Odin before who died? Like, or, or was it someone pretending to be him? I find that really hard to believe because of um, what he also did, like uh, holding all of them uh, in that plank, uh, on that plank and stuff, so it had to be Odin right there. Man, I don't know. I I could probably be here like wondering um, about this forever and I wouldn't uh, guess it most likely. But this really came out of nowhere. And now I don't know, was it the one... I don't think he was the one at their room treating them, right? He was even rushing to this place, so I don't think he was inside um, to start with. Yeah, I really don't know. I mean, the, the, one of the things that um, I thought about as well was that maybe it could be uh, Yamato, and they were like um, symbolizing how uh, how she was uh, a, like embodying. Um, Odin's spirit uh, in a way, like she wants to uh, be like him. So, again, I'm just really confused by all of this. This like really came out um, of nowhere and hopefully the next episode uh, will give some answers um, to this. But yeah, either way, it was great to see how Chopper's uh, antibody worked and he was able to um, then use the cannon and um, treat everyone. And that was something I was um, curious about, because they showed um, the cannon during um, the title, I believe, and it, it really felt like uh, it was going to be important, that uh, it was going to be used uh, during this uh, situation. So I was just not too sure about uh, how Chopper was going to um, give the antibody to um, everyone, because uh, the way it took it was um, by drinking it, I think. And uh, on uh, uh, Yogro, he also um, like sprayed something. It was like a, a liquid um, as well. So I had no idea that um, he could um, make this, so pretty much make this uh, uh, like sort of a cannonball with uh, the antibody inside, but uh, in a gas form. And then just uh, make it spread uh, all around this place, so people could just uh, inhale it. So, again, that was just uh, really smart um, from Chopper, I'm really proud of him. But then again, it's uh, it's not really um, a big surprise, because we all know how good uh, um, of um, a doctor Chopper is. And um, it was also great um, to see that um, the guy's queen was um, like shaming on and uh, pretty much telling that... Um, he didn't uh, need them, they are now turning on him, because Chopper um, pretty much just saved them. So that's just um, really awesome to see, like this episode was full of uh, um, like positive things uh, happening, which made me really happy. Um, and um, it's, uh, again, Queen keeps saying that he has um, like lots of people on his side and stuff, and that, uh, and that he doesn't need... Um, the pleasures and um, the waiters, but uh, I mean, he doesn't know about um, how things are actually happening all around this place, so there's still um, um, Tama and uh, the others, like, taming a lot of these Animal Kingdom pirates, so their numbers are slowly decreasing, and um, like I said before, every time Tama tames someone, it's one less on the Animal Kingdom Pirates and one more on the um, Samurai side. So it's, um, again, a win-win situation for, um, for the Samurai. And uh, I just uh, hope that um, it keeps uh, happening, that they are able to tame as many as possible. It's, of course, going to depend on, um, on Tama, because it's not like she can produce uh, unlimited amounts uh, of those. She has to uh, like rest and stuff uh, in between. But yeah, just um, a really great episode, this was like really great news, it's one less thing um, to be worried about. But now there's um, again the big question, what exactly just happened by the end of this episode? So this was again a really big surprise, I don't really believe it's really Odin in front of them, but I can't think of uh, what um, could be happening, and if it's really Odin... 
I have no idea how he was able to survive before. So, again, this episode answered a lot of the things I was wondering about, uh, pretty much related to uh, the antibody, but gave me even more questions. So, let's hope that they get answered um, as soon um, as possible during uh, these uh, next episodes. So, with this, just hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.